Alright guys, Dave from King's Consoles here, back to another video. Uh, this video is going to be a pick up, so if you haven't already guessed by the title. Um, just a few bits and bobs I've picked up over the past couple of weeks. Um, mostly, actually a couple of things on Gumtree, which I was a bit uh, glad to see. Um, because Gumtree had been a bit dry at the moment, but uh, yeah, a couple of decent items. Um, one of my, my main items as such is a couple of things I picked up from a local comic book store. A um, little bit of backstory, I was once again through the Fairman, I uh, just thought I'd uh, pay a visit to the usual shops, so I looked in charity stops, um, cash generators, I actually found absolutely nothing there, um, but there's a shop I'd been passing, it's called Little Shop of Heroes, um, now for those of you who know Fairman, it's actually down by the Abbey, or the Abbey House, whichever one you know the best, and uh, normally the cobble streets in the Fairman. Um, I'll put a little link to the Facebook page, uh, that's probably the best way to get information on it and um, there's also, they do sell on eBay as well for those of you that aren't local but yeah, anyone local to Dunfermline, I'd highly recommend paying the guy a visit um, Nice little shop, I see, I've walked past it many a time just one of those things I've, I never kind of went in I like comic books but I'm not an avid collector um, but Mark Horsburgh, who's another YouTuber on here um, once again, put it in the the bottom is links to his channel, very funny YouTuber. He says they actually do retro games as well, so we give it a look. So yep, yeah, the past week, uh, last Friday I think it was, I went and had a look in. Um, nice little selection actually, um, great wee shop. Um, they had PS1, uh, Super Nintendo, Super N64 games, um, they had a Super Nintendo Street Fighter boxed, mint condition, had the poly bags and everything. Um, I've already got snares at the moment, but I'm sure some lucky person will end up getting that. Um, but yeah, not just console stuff, there was say comics, your your weekly comics that come out, uh, series, uh, graphic novels, um, there's Magic the Gathering cards, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, you name it, tabletop stuff. Um, yeah, th there's a wide selection. For such a small shop, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, so I had a little look around, and a couple of pickups I got myself in the bag. Um, unfortunately, I missed Corn Big Day. Um, so, what do we start with? Let's start with the smallest item. Well, I've given very pleased to pick up. But this was £4, which uh, I'm happy to pay for a Game Boy game in the wild actually, especially this one. It's a Beauty Fighter. Let's see if I can get a better focus on that. Great artwork in this cartridge. Uh, I love the NES version, so I was quite curious to see how the. Uh, I've actually got the NES version. I was quite curious to see what the Game Boy is. It's a uh, Bureau Fighter Deluxe. Um, I've actually been playing this quite a lot the weekend. Um, it plays quite similar to the NES, thinking of the, the capabilities of the, the Game Boy. Um, it does a pretty good representation of the, um, the, the NES version. Not quite as fast, but it uh, definitely. Definitely worth it picking up if you see it in the wild. And uh, most ga seen Game Boy in the wild is very rare as it is. Um, also picked up a PlayStation 1 game, Red Racer Type 4. Uh, I paid £3 for this, which for this game I'm very happy to pay. I've actually just seen PlayStation 1 stuff, decent PlayStation 1 stuff in the wild. Um, it's great because all these other shops I tend to pick them up for are kind of dying. Um, PS2 seems to be the more common current stuff to, to find in shops. Uh, but now the, the case is in mint condition. Um, even comes with complete with the manual and the tech demo disc. There's a manual there, just in case it didn't think it disappeared. Um, yeah, the, the high spec demo, it's actually Ridge Racer. I never actually knew about this, I've never owned this game before. Um, the high spec demo is actually one track in Ridge Racer 1, run at a faster rate. Um, now, read up it's the 60 hertz, obviously, if you're in other regions, NTSC, PAL, it's 50, because uh, obviously we're just daft and have 50 hertz TVs. But yeah, I've actually had the first three Ridge Racer games um, uh, Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer Revolution, and Raid Racer, which is my favourite in the series. Never actually played this, always wanted it. But I never got into buying it. Um, so I'm really looking forward. I love the Red Racer series, especially the PlayStation versions. Um, so, yeah, awesome. That we're going to try it very shortly. So I've disappeared. I'm just going in here. Um, 
So that's three pound for that, so four pound there, and a fiver for this game. As you may have noticed, an NTSC car, um, American one, and it's Cybernator. Make sure I said that. I can't call it Cybernoid for some reason. The the Commodore and um, well, whichever console you have. Let's see if we can get this closer. Cybernator. Um, awesome, awesome game. And the other fact as well, I found an NTSC game in the wild. There's quite a few of them. I would have been quite happy to pick up. Uh, unfortunately, I had to try and keep myself restrained from some of the games that there was in the shop. Um, this is in budget. Um, <laughs> they never will probably be back in there picking up all the other stuff if it's their really good titles. Um, they had Protector or NTSC as well. Um, Legend of Zelda was there, uh, which I would have loved to pick up, uh, but at this stage I can't quite afford that right now. But yeah, Cybernair, sorry, Wafflin. Um, awesome game for Pokami. Uh, I had actually played this in the past. Uh, I was actually pretty damn good at it, so not the easiest game. Just get a little close look at that. I don't think it's picking up very well. Um, nope, I don't think it was the focus. But uh, yeah, I had this before in the past. Um, I was pretty sure hot at it, even though it's quite a, I think it's a pretty hard game. Um, I'm sure when I plug this in, I'll be absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, £5 for that. Uh, I pay that to the cows come home for an NTSC cart in the wild. Um, but yeah, definitely worthwhile checking out the shop. Um, there's so much stuff I probably would have bought if I hadn't been uh, a bit tight fisted that day. So uh, no doubt I will be there once again and looking forward to seeing what new stock I'll be in. Um, moving on, on to Gumtree. Um, I got a shoebox. But you know when you tend to buy things in shoeboxes, in most cases for me it's not shoes. It's actually a uh, PS2 Slim, you won't see it in there, but I'll show you very shortly. Yes. There you go, you all know what it looks like, but I'll show you anyway. PS2 Slim, uh, very tidy, um, actually very little surface scratches. I tend to find with these that they, they get scratched quite a bit. Um, I've already got one of these, but my current PS2 Slim has been taken over um, by the future wife. She's actually using the DVD player in another room. So uh, I was looking on Gumtree, got this for a tenner, uh, which I can't believe. I wonder if I ever get a, a PS3 Slim that's like that. I doubt it. I think they've got a sh the smalls they ever get it, but it's hard to believe that that big fat PlayStation slimmed into this. Um, yeah, give me all the hookups. Official power supply, blah blah blah, I don't want to show you that. Um, £10 also came with a shitey controller. Don't even see that, it's a third party controller. Um, you may, if you, the wise of you, notice this analog stick. But I don't really care about this, this is just a casualty of the, the buying it. Let's unwind this. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's on the face. But yeah, look at the analog stick, it's broke. Uh, D pad might still work, but it's another one of these crappy D pads. So if you can see that, it's got a bit of dark in here all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, this will probably just, I'll see if the D-pad works, if not, it's going in the bin. Um, not really interesting at all. But the person did also say, uh, I've got a couple of games kicking about if you want them as well. So yeah, of course, um, I'll have a look what you got. Uh, so I ended up picking up, you may have seen it already in the top. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which is perfect because I was hoping to pick these up. If you saw my other pickups video before, I got GT. A GTA 3, so I was hoping to pick up all the PS2 ones. Um, sadly, it doesn't come with a manual, but I've got a disc. The game, in pretty alright condition. But yeah, it's pretty good actually. Um, so yeah, got Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So that's my PS2 collection pickups. Um, there's the Liberty City stories and Vice City stories. I think they both came on the PS2 as well, but I've already got them on the PSP. Uh, so that was actually another uh, pickup I had just not long ago. They're not here, I would have showed you them. Um, but I'll save it for another video, you never know. But yeah, that was all complete. Uh, so yeah, 10 quid. Over the moon with that. It's now got two PS2s. Um, you never know, you can always have a spare one. Uh, this will be staying in the living room, the other one's in the bedroom. And finally, another gumption you find. Um, 
I've got an Xbox, what, original Xbox, to make sure you see this now. Got an Xbox One, we all know the scenario about that now. An original Xbox, um, and I've only got one official controller, which I've actually got in here. Um, uh, I actually have a couple of uh, emulators on there, along with um, original Xbox games, as you know. Unfortunately, you can't play all original Xbox on the original 360. Well, don't have to say original 360, just the 360. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've got that for uh, purposes. As you know, four controller ports. I've only got one controller. And I don't know about if it's anywhere else in the country. These are hard as shit to find by themselves. I've looked in uh, charity shops, I've looked in uh, cash generators and cash converters. I thought I'd at least have a couple of these floating around. Um, eBay, the postage just kills the actual cost of it. So, luckily, I managed to find a third party controller. Um, Captain Gadget makes them. Probably not the best controllers, but I, I, I really need another one for some of my two player action. Um, nothing really else in the exam in the back. But yeah, I saw this. Um, got it for a fiver. Um, just picked up the other day. It's pretty much an exact replica of the one down there. I've heard the analog sticks um, may not be the greatest, but I'd just use the official one and give this to somebody else. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, it's brand new. The woman said that she bought it for her son's Xbox 360 and realising that it's the wrong controller. But the analog sticks seem pretty tight to me. Obviously never been used. Figures. To be fair, apart from the fact it's not got the actual Xbox logo on the front, here, um, it actually feels pretty tight. In fact, I'd actually say it's an exact carbon copy, just looking at here. I'll show you that now. Xbox. Original Xbox. Captain Gadget one. Um, so to look at, I think you'd be hard pushed to actually see which was the, the right one, the official one. Um, we'll, still see, we'll see how it plays. Um, yeah, I really don't see a difference. So cool, now we've got two controllers for the Xbox. Uh, and that's it guys, that's all I've really picked up at the moment. So once again, uh, have a look down in the under bar. I'll put uh, Mark's channel, I'll uh, put the links towards the Little Shop of Heroes. Definitely check them out if you're in the Fife area. Uh, Edinburgh, it's worth a trip across to see what the guys have got and um, I also put the eBay store because uh, it does also have a store which I'm led to believe more stuff is coming up. Anyway, Dave from King's Consoles saying hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you again soon.